So today I want to talk to you guys about my microblading experience that I had take place last week um, on Wednesday. <laughs> So I got my eyebrows microbladed. Yeah, we about I would say like five, four days ago. So this is five days after um, she microbladed them. Her name is Dior. I went to Dior and she's here in Buckhead. So I'm gonna leave all her info, obviously. But guys, like, this is crazy. The hype. I never really like understood you know, what microblading was about. I always, you know, would see people promote it because a lot of the girls that I follow, they get their eyebrows microbladed or they'll be doing microblading themselves along with eyelash extensions. You guys know the whole deal. So I was on my explore page one day and I saw like this photo of this girl laying down and I'll insert my photo so you guys kind of get a gist of what I'm talking about. But it's like a photo like this and she had like the tape on her forehead and I'm like, what? What is this procedure? Like, what? what's going on? So I click on the page and she's getting her eyebrows microbladed and I swipe to the next photo and I'm like, wow, like that's crazy that looks so natural it looks so good and like but it still looks so full and filled in so i'm just like i just commented wow like i'm genuinely amazed you take in like when you get your eyelashes done and like your eyebrows how big of a difference it makes when you get them done a certain way or if you get microblading or if you get extensions for your eyelashes and all that stuff you just take in the difference that it makes. So, and it's a very quick procedure. It's nothing crazy, it's not too painful. It was really fast. She um, gives me some papers to sign, you know, obviously to let me know what I'm getting myself into, what, you know, is gonna happen to them over the time frame of like, what is it, six weeks? And then like after that, they're fully permanent for like a year. So, you know, she was just informing me because, you know, once again, I didn't know anything about microblading. So, you know, she was just telling me about what it was about and you know nothing crazy it's just basically you treat it like a tattoo you gotta keep it moisturized so it can heal properly you know be very cautious when you're washing your face pat your eyebrows dry don't pick at them don't scratch all this stuff because you know they are literally like slicing into your eyebrows with like a little micro blade with like some i'm assuming it's like some ink like some tint i don't know what it is but it's something that obviously darkens your brows tint. She starts slicing into like, you know, you, you feel it and like, I mean, you don't feel it because your eyebrows are numb, but you feel like the sensation of like, you can feel like the scratching. It's like a, it's like a scratch. I have a high pain tolerance though, so I'm not sure if I'm just like one that loves pain, but it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. She was hella fast too. It took like 20 to 25 minutes for her to do it. But, so basically what's gonna happen is, um, so when I first got them done, I'll put a picture up. They were very dark and they just looked like they had been freshly done. And after I've got them done, they have been, you know, slowly, uh, what is it, like peeling and shedding or whatever because like I mentioned, it is like a tattoo. So it's like a scar trying to heal itself because it's like these little slits have been made into your eyebrow. And I know it sounds really crazy and like super intimidating and scary, but it's not. It's like, it's not painful. I mean. It's just not bad, it's not bad. And what you get out of it is so, I don't know, I feel like it's totally worth it. I mean, as of right now, I do, because I see, you know, my, I think my eyebrows look really good. Like, they look the best that they have looked in a very long time, because I just think I genuinely don't know how to do my eyebrows. I don't know how to frame my face with my eyebrows. I just don't know. So this is perfect for me, because I cannot do my brows, like, for shit. Like, they will be very uneven. They'll be like, one will be thick and one will be skinny and one will be longer and shorter. And it's just like, no. But, um, but yeah, so what's gonna happen is it's basically over these six weeks, like these initial six weeks, it's all going to fade and gonna look like I have no microblading. And then I have to go back in for a touch up. And then that's when it becomes, you know, semi permanent for a year. And it'll look like permanently, I'm assuming, like this or maybe a little lighter because. She just told me it's going to look like I have my eyebrows done all the time. And I was just like, okay, Dior, like, that's a bet. Yeah, I mean, ever since I got them done, everyone has had 
nothing, pretty much nothing but positive things to say about my eyebrows, even though like, there are those one or two people who are just like, wow, like your eyebrows look so much better before. But you know, you always have those people. It's like when you cut your hair, like, wow, well, I wish you would have left it long, but you're so beautiful anyway. Like those backhanded compliments, like, did you really need to say that? Because nothing's gonna grow my hair back out for you, like, overnight, so get used to it, bitch. So, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with it. I can't wait to see how it's going to look after I go back for the six week fill-in. I know that I'm just gonna be on cloud nine because I'm gonna have cute eyebrows for a year at least, but I um, would say, I would if I had to rate the pain, I would say it's about a six. Uh, no, if I had to rate the pain, I would say it's at about a four or a five only because of those like slight, you know, some parts of your skin might not take very well to the numbing cream. So just like you can really feel that slice, but um, it's not, it's nothing crazy. And um, other than that, I can't really, I don't really have much to say as of right now about the eyebrows, but look at them. This is uh This is just, yeah. No product on my eyebrow right now, guys. Well, obviously. But yeah, I'm extremely, extremely happy. I feel very blessed that I was given this opportunity. I know some people have had like horrible experiences. Like, I think I saw a thumbnail for my girl Alyssa's video where she was like my microblading video from hell. And I was like, fuck. Like when I, when I was going to the girl's place, I was like, shit. Uh, I think Alyssa made a video about how shitty this was or how it was just bad. Shit, maybe I'm like getting myself into something I don't know so much about. But it wasn't crazy, like I'm fine. Like I, my eyes weren't swollen or anything after. I actually like, <laughs> I did feel pretty self-conscious when I was leaving the place because it was like, I didn't have um, a lot of makeup on and I had my hair up and it was just like brows, you know? Cause they're freshly done and I was just like walking around Publix like shit. Like everybody is just looking at me. I'm like, it's fucking great. But a bitch doesn't give a fuck. So anyways, that's my microblading experience. Obviously, I'm going to keep you guys updated about how this is going because it's on my face. So you guys are going to see it regardless. And I don't know. I'm like pretty excited to see like what's going to happen. But um, yeah, let me know if you guys like my hair too. You know, like, I mean, I like my hair and I'm probably going to leave it like this. But I want to know what you guys think about it too. And I hope you guys listened to my podcast yesterday. It was very good, apparently. A lot of people said they liked it and they gave me very good feedback. So I want everyone here on my channel to listen to it. I touch a lot on miscommunication, not living in fear, and not harboring like, you know, feelings that we keep inside, you know, to like our friends or like, you know, our people in our relation we're in a relationship with or like our parents, you know? Like just learning how to be more vocal and accepting of the way that we feel and being okay. So I know that sounds like super corny, but it's something that I think we need to listen to and pay attention to because it'll really affect us in the long run if we don't you know, acknowledge these emotions. But anyways, you can listen to that in my podcast. The link is down below. Subscribe to my SoundCloud and to my channel, obviously. I mean, hello, this content is priceless. But yes, I will be back with a, another video later on this week. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you have any questions regarding the microblading or whatever, I'll leave my Instagram down below. You can DM me and I'm gonna leave Dior's Instagram down below too so you guys can check out her work if you live in Atlanta or if you just want to travel to Atlanta to get your brows done. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be back soon with another one.